what up and welcome to Rama Screen YouTube channel and here's my review of Paramount Plus new event series Knuckles. Let's rock this. Okay, I have already watched all six episodes and I very much enjoy them. Please keep in mind that just like Sonic the Hedgehog movies, Knuckles series is also designed for younger audiences. I mean, with the exception of a few shockingly adult innuendos and crude language, Knuckle series is very much family friendly. The innuendos are not that subtle, but don't worry, it'll fly right over your kid's head. Listen, the story on this one is not complicated. This is a buddy road trip comedy and it makes a hero out of the two characters that were supporting roles in the movies, Knuckles and Wade. It doesn't pay a lot of homage or nods to Sega or the video games. It mostly just goes and does its own thing. There are parts about it that fall short, which is why I don't give it a perfect score. But I still come out of this with a smile on my face because the several goofy moments that this show does have, they tickle my funny bone. Created for television and show run by John Whittington and Toby Asher, the new live-action event series follows Knuckles on a hilarious and action-packed journey of self-discovery as he agrees to train Wade as his protege and teach him the ways of the Echidna Warrior. The series takes place between the films Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Sonic the Hedgehog 3, starring Idris Elba, Adam Pally, Stockar Channing, Eddie Patterson, Scott Muscuddy, Ellie Taylor, Julian Barrett, Rory McCann, Ben Schwartz, Tika Sumter, and Carrie Elwes. Hey, please click the join button below to become Rama Screen members. By doing so, you will help support this channel and you'll also get lots of perks. So click on the link below to join Rama Screen membership today. Man, a lot of the talents in front of and behind the cameras are back, including director Jeff Fowler. So it's very simple, really. If you like the tone and the style and the CG designs and the sense of humor of the previous two Sonic movies, then you are going to like Knuckle series just fine. Especially if you are middle school audiences who are this franchise's target demographic. Personally, I think this whole idea was fantastic. It's something to keep us company while we wait for Sonic 3. Knuckles is like the equivalence of that Kung Fu Panda Dragon Knight series. Remember that one? Leading up to Kung Fu Panda 4? So this is a wonderful strategy to continually hype up or excite the fans while gradually building up the anticipation for the new movie. Having said all that, I have to be honest with you and here are some of my criticism of Knuckles series. There's an episode that's entirely musical, and that episode is such a waste of time. None of the songs are catchy, and the whole thing is just like pressing the pause button, and it was testing my patience. The big main villain is also this show's weakest link. I'm actually a fan of Rory McCann, but sadly his character is underdeveloped and underwhelming, I mean, his character is easily forgettable because the writers almost did not give him the time of day. Even his eventual big entrance is unwarranted. It feels so separate from Wade's bowling aspirations. They're just like, well, I guess we'll just throw in this epic fight right here. Better late than never. I mean, what? However, I had a blast watching the warrior journey of Wade and Knuckles. Their friendship arc is entertaining. Adam Pally brilliantly leans in to his character's bumbling, insecure personality. Adam's comedic timing and comic delivery are downright flawless. And Idris Elba does it again, significantly even more confident this time around. Idris is Knuckles. There's no other way to put it. Now, Knuckles remains a fish out of water, so to speak. So the jokes are still built around him discovering or learning something new for the very first time from beginning to end, but surprisingly, it never gets old. And Knuckles' many, many ways of 
verbally emasculating Wade without purposely trying to do so are hysterical and deeply amusing. The guest stars also leave a memorable mark. By now, Carrie Elwes has practically mastered the art of self-serving after having played so many conceited characters over the years, including this latest one that's not far different. Stockard Channing and Eddie Patterson, who play Wade's mom and sister respectively, were terrific in creating that Whipple's dysfunctional Jewish family. And Scott Muscuddy and Ellie Taylor, who play the agents chasing after Knuckles, also have their laser-powered moments, and they rock that man-in-black suits unabashedly. So yeah, overall I give Knuckles series the rating of 3.5 out of 5. It's goofy, it's silly, it's childish, but it's fun, fun, fun. It will not disappoint the fans of this franchise, and sometimes that's the best you could hope for.